Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the paper that is titled Classification of Red Blood Cells in Sickle Cell Anemia Using Deep Convolutional Neural Network. This paper has been accepted in the International Conference on Intelligent System Design and Applications. The authors of this paper are Leif Alzubaidi and Dr. Jenglin from Faculty of Science and Engineering, Queensland University of Technology, Brisbane, Australia, and Dr. Omran and Dr. Mohammed from University of Information Technology and Communications, Baghdad, Iraq, and Dr. Leif from School of Engineering, Manchester University, UK, and University of Diyala, Iraq. First thing we need to know what is sickle cells anemia or what is sickle cells. So when the red blood cells, normal red blood cells in normal status, they form, these cells form as circular shape as shown in this figure. But when the person is infected with anemia, then the red blood cells shape and form a sickle shape as shown in this figure. This form will lead to stuck in the, uh, in the blood vessels and lead to different diseases and, and even death. So red blood cells diseases are different diseases so, and in different shapes. So these shapes are shown here different of red blood cells when the person infected with these diseases so for this paper we are targeting uh, the sickle shape so the aim of this paper is to classify red blood cells in three cla classes namely normal and abnormal cells anemia type sickles and miscellaneous uh, type so anything else except sickle cells are normal, we call miscellaneous because we are targeting this type. So the number or the classification of uh, red blood cells into the sickles are normal can help to evaluate the level of uh, anemia danger. The motivation of this paper that is the number of people having sickle cells anemia is about 3.2. 2 million and it held and even in 2013 one, 176,000 deaths and while in 1999 the number of deaths was 113,000 people generally of Africa so the contribution of this paper are introducing a new robust and effective deep composition on neural network to classify red blood cells in three classes as mentioned before and also we have used our model as features extractor to get the features and on top of that we applied error correcting output codes classifier for the classification task so basically we start with the data set the data set of this paper uh, from uh, from Wetsworth Center and we got the whole images then the mythology of our work is started with our proposed approach architecture so basically we cropped the images uh, by size of 28 by 28 by 3 of cells from the input images and after we cropped these cells we got like thousands of patches of these cells then we even applied flipping and applied even rotation to duplicate the data because usually convolutional neural networks require large amount of data so to guarantee that we get a high accuracy we duplicate the data even just not not by one time even by two times three times to get more efficient and uh, like sufficient data for training so the model start with the input layer then the general convolution neural networks with the rectified linear unit then subdivided to two branches 
the first one convolutional also and then another convolution and another branch also convolutional with the rectivial linear unit all these convolutional uh, followed by rectivial linear unit on top of that we add, added them to the add layer then to the average pooling layer and then fully connected and soft max to classify either as sickles or normal or other classes or other diseases and the same thing with when we applied our model we got the features from fully connected layers then then these features added or fitted to the ECOC classifier. This classifier usually uh, using different classes on different matrix with a different uh, like type of classes. To explain this kind of a classifier, basically it's group of SVM classifiers. So if we have in, in our case we have three classes. So basically with the first classifier we have the first class as a neg positive and second class as a negative and the thir third one is zero. So in this case we have binary classification because usually a uh, support vector machine works with binary classification. And the same thing we have with the second SVM classifier and third SVM classifier. After that we get the total of uh, total of prediction. So here is the output of first convolutional layer. From first convolutional layer is the uh, activation or the kernels of first convolutional layer. The first one for the circle shape, as you see here. So the main difference between them is the shape. So basically our model based on the shape to distinguish between sickle cells or our normal and other diseases. Here's the, the activation. Then when it comes to the result, our model achieved with patchwise, patchwise by getting the patches and get the accuracy of these patches is 83.9 and with the image wise is 88.1 so it's also worth to mention that we calculate the image wise by getting the average accuracy of the batch wise for the whole image so we crop the image to the bunch of uh, batches like like a group of batches number of batches then we calculate the average of uh, accuracy while our model with the ECOC is 86.3 and with batch wise and 92.0 with image wise here is samples of prediction of different batches as you see here there is a circle shape uh, 97.66 and the normal is 0 and the other diseases could be 2.34 another example is this one we have circles of 0.5 the normal 7.3 and malicious uh, like mycelius is 91.1 another example is this one is circles is zero normal is 96 and other diseases 3.9 and as shown here for different patches. So in conclusion, in this paper we proposed a deep convolutional neural networks frame to classify red blood cells into three classes normal and abnormal and other different diseases as miscellaneous and also we have applied ECOC classifier on top of our model the results have shown that our proposed approach in task of classification is effective and robust and it shows a very high accurate prediction of normal red blood cells and sickle shaped cells anemia and other diseases. It's also worth to mention after we classify now we have the ability to count the number 
of normal and sickle shapes because usually the most important that we count number of cells uh, number of sickle cells evaluate the level of danger so after we classify all these images here for example these sickles now we can calculate how many patches or how many cells sickle cells anemia and we give accurate number instead of usually using like image processing techniques these are the references of the paper and thank you so much for